Ladies and gentlefolks and everyone in between, we are back. I'm immediately save. We're just coming off of a wonderful victory in the last episode. And this one, um, hopefully, will be no different. Our first action will be to raise, um, raise these levies. <laughs> oh, that's garbage. Okay, hopefully those die eventually. Um, or hopefully they're never attacked, one of the two. Because that will instantly crumble. Um, but we're going to raise that Mott and Bailey there. We're going to get more units up here from it. Um, which, let's see how our... I'm going to send these guys back this way for now. Um, this group should be able to handedly take this, if I'm not mistaken. It's weird that Spearman got pushed to the back. Hopefully our High Lord doesn't get axed on accident, because these guys can get through our Knight's armor pretty easily. I'm, I'm hoping for a good lance charge, so this line is just demolished. But we'll see how it goes. Um, other than that, we have our other objective of going to uh, down here. And I think we're going to try and take on some of the ancient forests. Try and get some more unicorn knights, some of those bruisers. We do need to go take out these goblins that have just appeared here. But over here... We're going to take this fortress, I believe. It could potentially go bad. I'm a little afraid of the crossbowmen, but I'm not so afraid, because some of them are going to target our ethereal units. And uh, this guy... Oh, he has fire resistance. That's not going to do much. Hopefully he can bust when he gets in the range. It looks like he's just decided to cast fire resistance on a lot of people. He finally combusted. A little late. But we really didn't take losses there, so... Oof, okay, Whew. good lance charge. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. That's what I was relying on, and it happened. Our High Lord did take a wound. He lost an eye, which sucks. So that means he's. I think he's going to get a 50-50 shot. 10%, no. Not as bad as I thought. I think blind is even worse, but... We are not blinded, thankfully. Okay, I think it's about time we go take out these guys. They're too much of a threat. To take our guard tower that we've just achieved. <clears throat> the goblins took one of our farms. Those dastards. Little did they know Edbald is coming for them. <laughs> what a threatening name, Edbald. I don't like that these guys are just going to keep building up here. Um, I'm a little unsure where to take them, because I don't know where all this guy's stuff is. That is the one bad thing about the Baron, really, is that he does not have... Excuse me one moment. I had a bit of a, a cough there, but I'm okay now. Uh, the thing I don't like about the Baron is he just doesn't have good visual um, stuff. He doesn't have good scouting. You can run your High Lord around and see how that goes, but it's not really the optimal solution. So we're going to actually, I think instead of going for the ancient forest, like I said, or I alluded to, I think we're just going to send these guys down south to scout for the most part. And maybe take out some units if they see them. It's a possibility they could die, uh, but I'm not so attached to that squad. And there's the possibility as well we could take something nice. <clears throat> so we've killed those dwarves easily enough. Not much of a challenge. I really don't want to plow through either of these with a the squad. I want to keep them fresh. Not a lot of wounds, not a lot going wrong with them. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. Thought if these guys weren't slow. Why are they slow? Oh, because they were in the trees. I was going to say, because these grave things mean we can't take as many turns. So we're not going to get this. And uh, getting close to a season change, I think. Grab some more longbowmen here. Just make sure that's extra secure. Move down this way. Maybe kill those Mises. Mises? The Musai? However you say that. Move these guys this way. Hopefully Hobergs haven't snuck up through the woods behind our lines while we do this. That is my one concern is that uh, from the south they've come. Empty guard tower. Did that kill the Hobergs? I, don't, I didn't see a death thing. Man, there's a lot of factions dead. There's us. There's these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people left besides us. Oof. 
this is a large map, so a considerable amount of people are gone. We just got so stuck up in the north. We are the we're like the north in uh, a Song of Ice and Fire or Game of Thrones for those of you who are more apt to the TV show. We are the Great Northern Kingdom, free and true. We uh, well, free under the feudal system, but <laughs> we are uh, free from our southern southern uh, enemies. That's for sure. So far, at least, mostly dealing with wilderness. Ooh, looks like we have a challenger. That's a lot of pikes. And the thing about this pike line, this is where the Hobergs actually might excel. So, two lines of pikes. The back line is going to get an attack on us if we, if we fight them. Um, I don't want to have to deal with that. Ooh, that looks juicy. Am I fighting the Markgraf? These might not be just the regular Hoberg faction with the with the little plants and shit. I actually think it's not. I, do they both get the boars? No, these aren't the evil ones. Huh. Okay. Is that empty? It might just be stealth. I'm I'm I do not believe that's actually empty. So my hope is these guys move and I can find some more juicier targets south. Um, and then we can deal with that as it goes down. Eh, swordsmen aren't that interesting to me. At least right now they aren't. Some more scouting. Keep moving him south. Can't buy a high lord right now, so we won't do that. But soon here... Um, after spring ends, we will have some more uh, levees to pull from. God, I really want to kill that, but I just don't think we have the range. We're looking for an easy fortress to take and build up range units down here. My lord, okay. Really desolate up here. Really desolate part of the world we've spawned in. It's only a large map, I believe. I don't know where the borders are. Oh well, we'll continue on. Get another High Lord up here to prepare. Uh, we're also gonna wanna grab a bunch of range guys to come with him though, um, this time around. I find the best strategy is either a front line full of garbage and longbows in the back, or a front line, uh, even better, is a front line full of cavalry and knights. Uh, but that's harder to amass with potentially wizards intermingled. We haven't got an alchemist. We need uh, a magic library. Oh, oh dear. He left his thing kind of exposed. He won't die because he's got that other citadel. We won't attack yet. Okay, we got. We have to plan well for this. Um, and planning well means we consolidate. And consolidating these two groups and then moving on his Hoburg fort is going to be a good grab for us. It's going to give us a fortress. It's going to deprive him of income and a good fortress to get maybe special units i don't know how well that faction i don't know much about that faction in terms of its operation with that but uh either way it'll be a detriment to them is the thing and a boon to us so we're gonna grab this we're gonna grab this uh we're eventually gonna run over here though and grab that as well we can do it before they consolidate themselves grab more longbowmen and we'll let that guy run up we're going to expect... Um, ooh, that's good. Okay, an alchemist. We're going to talk about this. What does an alchemist do? They give us gold. That's their best use. Um, they can also buff our troops. Um, they aren't super useful outside of that unless you can upgrade them because their buffs are going to be garbage. Uh, it's just five bursts. Um, get them to level two, though, and they start getting good returns but that means you need to find a level two magic library which we have not found jesus this is juicy this will propel us to the rest of the game so next turn handfield will come down here consolidate with us i don't know if we'll have enough i don't think we'll have enough movement because he's just coming off the mountains but we will get together and then we'll have a, a luck iron skin guy to push us through here 
This is a really weak gate, which is why I'm not so much as worried about these guys, and the walls are not as high as you can see by the tower shield. Um, this fortress is... Oh, that's going to be hell to take. What we're going to end up probably doing is purchasing siege equipment down here and just pushing upwards, um, which these silver mines will help pay for. But fortifying below them has turned out to be a much better strat. I should save. Savey save. Grab this farm. It's just another spearman for our armies. I'm a little afraid to take the silver mine. This group. This group isn't very strong. If I spawn more longbowmen, I could do it. And it might be worth it in the long run. More consolidation. Yeah. But our objective in this game, I haven't really talked about it, is to mostly just become, either A, become king, or eliminate all the factions. Whichever comes first. Um, becoming king just gives you more gold from most of your stuff. Oh, they're taking their farms back. I don't love that. And that's an unlucky thing to happen. That silver mine got taken from us. But we will consolidate this turn. We can't build levies here. I knew we couldn't. I was just double checking. As is always pertinent. Do these come with treasure or do only graveyards? They don't do disease claws, do they? Oh, they do do... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not messing with that. Not worth it. I didn't know there was that many bears. I should have checked. If they, if any of those guys died, it's my bad. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Another guard tower. Another outpost down here. It's kind of just what we're looking at with that. As you can see, our gold production is pretty good. We got 47 gold, and we're also trading for more off of our iron resources, because those have not been as much of a benefit to us as we'd like them to be. I'm actually going to stop doing that, though, because... Um, what I want to do is build up iron so we can start getting siege equipment from this bottom place while we're closer to our enemies so that we can siege down that citadel because I do want to eliminate the Hoburg faction um, and I don't know where all their commanders are hopefully this doesn't go poorly oh god, oh god, please, please kill the bears they're so dangerous got so many attacks that's why I'm worried Okay, whew. You start losing knights there, and all of a sudden you're surrounded by bears, and it's no fun. So, not much new this turn. Just exotic troops uh, and our knights, which the exotic troops are, we end up getting Hobergs. Uh, so now we're using the enemy against them, although I don't think I'll take them with us because they'll very much slow us down. Uh, which is the irritation here is that our free spawns are going to be so far away from the action. It's going to take forever to get them anywhere. We don't have any easy way to move them down. But we're going to grab this glob. We're going to start going south. One, we need to retake our gold mine. That was taken from us. Ruthlessly so. Ooh, okay, they've built up decently here. But I believe in my heart of hearts that our 65 can definitely take this fortified Holberg hole. And we need to. We need to do it. One, they don't have that many of these crossbows, which are the real threat. These guys are just garbage. I'm not worried about them. The only real concern is how these spears will stack. Because, again, these are the really decent units because of how they can stack. But it, they only have one line here. So they'll be able to attack through the gate. But once we get in, I think they'll fall pretty quickly. But I believe... Let's see how justified my belief is in a little bit here. Ooh, okay. This is a good target for us, actually. The reason being is because I'm pretty sure nothing else comes with the Sacred Moose. Um, and the rest of this is mostly just garbage. So the deer are garbage. They're easy to kill. Um, we'll sweep them pretty easily. My only concern is how much awe this will affect. Uh, and of course, the Trampling Moose can always cause some problems, but I'm not too worried about that in the scheme of things. We've left our Alchemist here. Is that what we want to do? I don't think we want to leave him. We want to take him with us. Um, there's a risk with that, that he could die. But also, if we run into any other dangerous faction that we haven't accounted for, we'll have cold and fire resistance with us now. Now we're going to see the juice of this. Probably the juiciest part of this episode is going to be this. Taking of the Hoburg Fortified Village. Um, as you can see, they're trying to stab us through this gate, but they haven't succeeded yet. So, um, that's good. Mm. 
Sorry, I'm just looking at this, looking at their initiatives and whatnot. But uh, this looks like it's going to be a success. Not casting luck on the front line, unfortunately, because he's a little far. A little globby here. But we are pushing through with our knights taking the lead. That's who I would want to take the lead here because they have the best armor. They're going to soak the most damage. You guys did just see one of these guys get stabbed from afar by a spearman. But other than that, um, minimal losses and really good uh, taking of the fortified Hoburg. So the Hoburg's homeland is ours. They must hate us. They must hate us. And immediately, you can see, we can get the garbage slingers now. But we're not going to do that. We don't want... One, they're 50 gold. And I'll tell you now, there's 15 units. There's a couple of uses for them. Uh, low armor people. Um, so there's like some barbarian units that are low armor that they'll just chew up. Spearmen, they'll chew up. But anything else, they're just terrible. Don't get them. There's so few situations where you're going to need them that I just don't advise it. Ooh, do I want to try and grab a trebuchet? They're all slow. So trebuchet. But we could wait for a special event where we get better trebuchets. But I think for now, we'll grab that trebuchet. We'll run this guy around. We'll keep this guy fortified. But this guy... We probably should have ran this guy around, actually. He's got more... He's got more oomph. Run them both around. 21, 16... These have crap armor, don't they? Oh god, these actually... Most of them are armored. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to risk cavalrymen. I really don't. We'll just consolidate again and take this silver mine, um, which will greatly increase our capability to fight the Hobergs as we build up units around them. We're slowly, you can feel it, we're, we're cornering them. You can feel the forces of man advancing on the small people. Hopefully soon they will fall to our might. Oh, I really want to take that. Could try and get some veterancy stuff just by uh, crushing some more Mises. Also the risk of injury, but most of these frontliners are already injured and have decent experience. Experience helps with stuff like uh, damage and whatnot, I think. HP, morale, and strength, yeah. So, all good stuff from getting it. All good stuff. So they've finally taken back the Mott and Bailey we built. Not too concerned about that. Does lose some eyes on them, I believe, if they've taken everything in that region. Pretty easy for them to take. Not surprised. Ooh, can we get a white wizard? Oh, I'm so sad. Why? I should have kept trading. I mean, hindsight's 2020, but that would have been real nice. Okay. Consolidation attack. With these guys should make fast work of these pale ones. The lances and the bows will just they'll take them out pretty quickly. Move this guy up. What we're gonna do is uh, I don't know if we'll move these two forces together. I actually kind of do want to do that, but I don't want as many spearmen in the front. Oh, take back this farm. Might lose our guard post, but we'll just take it back immediately nothing I'm missing up here. I'm really concerned about taking those sacred forests, but they're really good for us. And the problem with those in the center is that random creatures will spawn around them, so we'll need to leave someone to defend them too. Which is a little lame. Oh, did not mean to skip that, but we did. We'll go look at what happened. Looks like we took some wounds. I'm not sure how many of them had wounds before, but I see health missing. Uh, so that's basically it. Not too shabby. But what we do have accomplished here is that we've built one. Um, I'm going to stop a turn to build some defenses because I don't want to lose this place when we go attack. Those two trebuchets. So what are the trebuchets? Let's talk about trebuchets. So... <laughs> trebuchets are the big kahunga the big kahunga of uh, siege weapons they're very slow they don't move in battle but what they don't uh, make up for is that they throw giant fucking boulders uh, that burst in three squares 
as you can see. Strike anywhere, so they don't need to be close. Um, and they will just siege the hell out of a place like this. Um, they'll just take out Hoburg after Hoburg. Because um, one, uh, it's mostly always going to break through their armor, and they don't have high HP, so these kill Hobergs in the, in the thousands, hopefully. Um, depending on how those combats go. But I think this force is enough. Um, we're going to move it north. We do need to heal, so I hope we don't get into a conflict ASAP. Move these guys in. <coughs> get a view. This is looking pretty soft. They've definitely moved some squads out. I'm, the only way, the only place I wouldn't like it is up here. Uh, but we should have this secured by that time. That would be concerning. Continue to move through here. God, if we were in a more open plains, we might take some Hoburg somewhere, but I don't think we'll ever have a use for our Hoburg companions. So this is just some wiping of independence, nothing too fancy. Watch some computer moves. We didn't see anyone, which is either super terrifying or super good. Okay, we found these guys. I would like to catch these guys in the field, actually, before they... Oh, maybe not. Our trebuchets will take... Oh, pretty much... We'll catch them in the field with these two squads, actually. That's a good... That's a good play. Kind of, you can see, we're pincering these guys in between our two squads. Um, I really want to catch them with these guys. Because uh, these knights are going to make a much better, uh, just, gunk squad. We're actually going to drop a bunch of these spearmen if we can. Off to just help defend this small village. Um, and I don't think we'll need them for the coming battle. Um, we'll keep... Two lines is generally what I'd advise um, to keep in range of whoever you want. Unless you have someone important in the back line, I don't see a reason not to. What should this episode be called? Who knows? Who knows yet? Oh, I don't know why I'm moving in that way. My whole plan was to go this direction. Ooh, a scout. Okay. There we go. So... This is Alpha Strike Force against Ancient Forest now, because this scout is going to be our guide into the woods to see stealthy units. Um, we still won't see invisible stuff with him, but he will illuminate our path. Um, we might have had one of those uh, a chance to get one of those guys earlier, but it wouldn't have been at a time where we were really considering the Ancient Forest as an option. That's a move I don't like, and they did move northward. They've access to another court mage. So Alpha Strike Force is going to move as fast as they can to go stop them before they take this place back. They'll, they'll take pretty bad losses on the crossbowmen. Well, not as much as I'd like, but this the Baron has a target. He's going this way. Carl the Strong Arm is taking their citadel. That is the most dangerous position right now. These guys are going to have trouble taking more than these villages. And here's the real secret. Okay. I hate that I spawned him up here, and that he had Socrates. Oh, this is just garbage. Iron Skin's cool, but fire resistance with it means he's got no combat spells, which is what I was looking for to defend this place. Um, if they take our outpost, we're in for a, a trip of misery. I'll tell you that that much. But we can build a ballista, so... <clears throat> which, they don't have any archers in this group, so they'll just get shot to death... Um, and I don't know if he can cast Iron Skin on the gate, but if he can, that'll reduce their ability to deal with us in a good way. How many units are here? 19? We have 33. We have the Combustion Guy over here, so I do think we can take this now. Because those deer are just... The deer, deer, the deer are garbage, right? They have a 3 attack. That's garbage. 2 magic resistance. <laughs> 8 H... They're just HP... Pools. They'll just and our lances aren't even there, so they'll just duel with spearmen and statistically speaking, lose if we roll not not garbage. We roll not terribly. So the Hoburg's downside is their movement and it's winter, which is really good for us because it means they can't get to us. I don't think. Okay, I'm really concerned about this place more than I am the place where we have all the units because it's going to really be hard to get back up here and <laughs> recapture. It's going to be an annoyance, and I'd rather deal with a hard fight at the fortified Hoburg with these these guys versus this this dude's stuff. 
versus having to run them all the way up here to take that. But Alpha Strike Force with Egfrif. Well, Egfrif will run in here and take that Ancient Forest, which is a pretty decent move, I, don't, I might say. Other than that, we don't got much going on. Edba Edbald and uh, Cedric will continue chasing... What's his name? Euphladon, the Markgraf. See how this goes. Hopefully we don't get awed. That's my one concern. Does he have magic weapons? He's got a lucky hit. He just ran over 70. Oop, okay. This was one concern, is that the, the Mises were going to trample. We may take some losses here because of that, because they've moved our good units out of their direction. Yeah, we took more losses than I'd like, but less than than I, uh, I'm i upset over. Not so concerned. See, if they take... I This is what I was hoping for. I was hoping to either divert them from attacking this or stop them if they did. And if they attack this stuff, it's fine. We got a guy up here, but if we lose these guys... We're in a tough position. I'm going to sentry them for now so we stop pinging towards them. Oh god, so slow. Okay, those trebuchets really slow us down. We're not going to make it this turn, um, so they might get an attack off on these guys. Which, I don't We might actually end up buying the Slingers. They're garbage, but they're not garbage versus the, the militia units. And these zero armor crossbowmen. I'm looking at this. I'm not seeing a lot of armor. Yeah, no. We'll do the Slingers. They're usually absolutely terrible, but they might divert an attack. Either way, um, we're going to catch these guys eventually, especially when the snow melts, because we're just going to run right through them. And then our trebuchets are going to help us take this, which is now less defended because they've taken some of the good troops out, put them into these two units. That's pretty, that's pretty nifty. I so wish we could raise levies on this, because this is just not, this is so hard to defend. Because there's just so much stuff around it, and we have to just leave people in the open? Like, madness, right? It's crazy. But that's what we will do. Um, Alpha Strike Force is mostly disbanding in favor of these guys going northward. I hope desperately these guys can defend it against any of these things. Something weird could spawn here, and that made me sad. But we'll leave some of Alpha Strike Force, and the other half will, I think, start going the, taking the trek back up here, taking the Baron's Castle units downwards, and taking more Ancient Forests. That plan may change. Um, I don't like how this map has turned out in that respect. Is that another Alchemist? It is. We will immediately buy that for more gold. These guys just pay off. Um, if you can afford an alchemist and you're not in a situational tight spot where you're going to need to buy some units anytime soon, um, where you don't think you're in danger, just do it. Um, sometimes they'll come with cool spells, like this is good. And, you know, it's always a safety versus any uh, faction that might be in the game with fire or uh, whatever other resistances you grab. And they give you free money. And free money is always uh, just beautiful, right? Who doesn't love free money? Okay. Now, I will grab our spearmen we left here. Conveniently, we've left those spearmen there, um, which will give us a little boost in this coming conflict here. With these 57 units, I think for sure we'll take it. The trebuchets are just going to tear through them. Um, and you guys are really going to see what they do. I'm going to grab this farm. Uh, by the way, you can't raise levies on farms, from what I remember. It's Hamilton above in terms of town stuff. Which, speaking of town stuff, we've just gotten so unlucky. Um, usually I see more towns in the game. Um, even on the monarchy setting, where there's more wilderness and stuff, because uh, there's a cataclysm event um, that the, the world is recovering from, etc. Um, I still usually see more. An old weapon master. Okay. And he can just sit there and train units. Uh, so this guy just, he trains units. He gives them those experience stuff, which means they're going to get more HP and things. It's really good if you can have units sit around, if you can afford to do that. Mm, it's good for that run through here. It looks like no one's going to attack this guy. I'm going to grab some longbowmen here. Secure outpost still. Now this is the big turn. We're going to give it a nice old uh, old fashioned save. In case there's crashes or anything. And honestly, I, I, don't, I don't usually save scum, but if we lose our Baron, I'd be so sad. 
I don't think I'd do it, but I'd be tempted. Um. <laughs> so here we go. The epic battle you all want to see. Watch as this tribute. Look at that. Already five units down. We're going to go slow for this. Just watch the devastation of why I bought these trebuchets for this battle. Because usually the citadel is hard to take. There's this big metal wall. You have to worry about all this shit. But look at most most of their army is being taken out by this trebuchet. This saves us so many losses. Now we can go speed two. And the trebuchet will continue to shoot. Given it's going to take a long time. You know, it's slow in terms of firing. But it's still going to fire. At some point. I think? Does the trebuchet not fire during the round? We're just on the slow speed. Okay, let's go up. Watch this battle take place. Losing people at the gate. This is expected. I hope our Baron doesn't continue to move upwards. This is going to be the roughest point. We really need to breach the gate. Oh, I'm a little bit worried. I thought those trebuchets would continue to fire. But they did, like, maximum damage. Um, so it looks like I remembered incorrectly that they continued, but they still, you saw what they did. It's crazy. It's wild. That early siege round, will just, they'll just devastate your enemy. I wish this guy had combustion, or that he would cast, um, luck instead of iron skin. Because I'd rather have these guys lucky up in the front. But this is looking like a win. Win with losses, but a win nonetheless. As we breach their gate, it is pretty much assured. Because our cavalrymen and knights are going to run in and, and just plow these guys down. But we're meeting resistance here. These spears. There we go. Okay. It's a nice little win. Taking more losses than I'd like. Less than I, uh, less than I needed. Okay, that's a wrap on that citadel, and this might be the end of the Mark Graph. Okay, so the Mark Graph is gone. <clears throat> the Hobergs have been put to rest. We have conquered them. Um, that's an awkward, empty battle now. And we catch sight of a fateless hero, peasant hero, walking around. Who knows who that could be and what he'll do, but... Um, we found another faction as we've eliminated this one. We'll give the game a good old save. Actually, I have no idea how long we've been doing this one for, but we'll continue a little bit longer. Oh, this is such a waste to have these guys up here. Or this guy, this wizard. I think we'll slowly move this wizard this direction. I'm not really worried about getting flanked. Keeping more than a captain is just greedy. As our old weapon master will now train up our Hoberg soldiers over time. We continue our slow trek northward. Does this need secured more? I think we're going to go exploring. Um, well, actually, first, I'll raise a fort. And then we'll go exploring with... That's a lot of longbowmen. I need to sort this composition out before I do anything with these two. Let's do that. Hmm. One group is going to go... I don't know if they'll go back. This is pretty well defended already. I need to get that farm. Carl could do something this turn. I'm just worried they'll take unnecessary losses. I can go grab the farm. Although we don't have a scout, and I don't want to risk Carl on that. We'll grab the, the coal mine. The Citadel has given us a nice little base where we can recruit troops and... Uh, continue to consolidate. Um, it's also given us a base within the realm of those ancient forests, just in case they ever do get taken by something surprising. So we got a good deal on trebuchets we could grab, which I'm real tempted to just do. I'm going to do it. Because when you get that deal on trebuchets, ooh, it's beautiful. I love those trebuchets. Okay, let's sort this out. This guy's wounded. He's lost an eye. We'll leave this man to Cedric. Leave the other guy behind. And I think he'll just take all of it. Um, including this guy. Make sure he's in this group. 
Yeah. And he, C Cedric, Cedric? I don't know, whatever his name is. We'll move this way. Well, Ed Bald, he's with, been with us for a long time. Um, he'll move this direction. Most of our High Lords have been with us for a long time since we had so much distance to cross. We're doing pretty good. We're battling the wilds. We're dealing with all our enemies. Moving peacefully through the land, mostly. Destroying the little people as they've been conquered. Um, I think that's a good wrap for this one. As we continue our conquest south, we'll come into contact with this red guy alt. Wow, that is an unimpressive name for a keyboard. I guess he will be a keyboard warrior. Give the game a good save and the episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you will continue to join us for this run, as well as I hope you will continue to uh, go look at the channel, subscribe, you know, like, comment with questions, and just, you know, throw a comment out. Say, hey, how's it going? And I'll be like, hey, how's it going back? And we'll have a good little chat in the comments. I, the comments are always appreciated. As well as uh, I hope you guys go check out uh, my D&D &D stuff going on because it's cool, as I've mentioned before. I will continue to plug shamelessly my other content. Uh, but we'll see you guys next time for our next episode.